What's good, cuz? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm bringing you all another MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty video. And in today's video, we are talking the new Run It Back program in Diamond Dynasty. We have 14 new cards to go over, a new player program to talk about. So if you're excited for the video, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. But without further ado, I hope you all enjoy the video and let's get it. Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub count. Take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back on MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty, and today we're going to be covering the new Run It Back program in Diamond Dynasty, breaking down every single card in the program, breaking down all the rewards, and seeing how you can complete this program a little bit quicker. We have 14 new cards to cover along with some other rewards, so let's get right into things here. So 100 points will max out this Run It Back program at 10 points, going to get three standard packs at 20, going to get a 42 choice pack if you're still looking to get 99 Jackie Robinson. That will help at 30 we're gonna get a stadium noise at 40 we're gonna get an all-star game pack so if you're still looking to get vladimir guerrero jr he's 140k you could possibly pull him in this pack at 50 though we're gonna get this run it back pack and you're gonna get a choice of one of 11 diamond items it looks like it looks like you'll be able to choose which one you're able to get it actually doesn't look like you're only gonna get five like i think they did last year it says select one of 11 so i imagine every single card in the run it back program should be in this pack correct me in the comments down below if i am wrong but it looks like the pack says select one of 11 diamond player items that's going to lead me to believe that every single card will be in the pack and you can pick any single one that you want so that's pretty cool if you want this 99 dong mattingly you're able to select him if you want we're going to go over all the cards in a second but let's finish out the rewards here at 60 points gonna get yourself a home run derby pack that will help you get pete alonzo trey mancini if you're lucky enough to pull the rare round at 70 points though we have three cards in the actual run it back program that are not in the packs that you can earn so we have 97 overall Fernando Valenzuela now the card that came out at the beginning of the year the Fernando Valenzuela was untouchable this card looks okay he doesn't look horrible but doesn't look great don't think he's gonna be cracking a lot of people starting rotation 109 stamina 115 hits per nine is not bad 90 Ks per nine 92 control 60 velo 99 break though individual pitch control all four pitches 84 and above and then 94 plus on three of them 99 on the screwball one of the nastiest screwballs in the game 99 break 99 control on that screwball, 92 break on the four seam fastball, the curveball, and then 97 on the circle change. So a pretty solid card, not great, not bad. And then at 80 points, gonna get a 99 Matt Carpenter. I see there's a lot of first baseman in this program, and this Matt Carpenter does look like a pretty good first baseman, but is he going to make a lot of people's God squads? If you have Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Frank Thomas, I don't think he's better than those cards, but he can play second base as his secondary position and third base. So a lot of people might throw him at second base because he does have that 120 power against righties, 113 against lefties, so that's not a bad option. And then at 90 points, we get a Jared Kalinick card, Future Stars from the Seattle Mariners, and this card looks really, really good for an outfielder, kind of like a better version of that Julio Rodriguez that we got in Team Affinity 4, so the future's bright in Seattle there with these outfielders, center field primary, left field and right field secondary, 115 contact against righties, 99 against lefties, 110 power against righties, 100 against lefties, then good fielding stats pretty much in the 80s with 80 85 speed and 80 steel looks like a pretty solid card and the final reward at 100 points is your second run it back pack in the program you get two of these packs in the program then you get more in showdown so i'll show you all that in a second but let's take a look at all the cards now some of them are going to be extremely unusable at 90 overall at this point in the year not going to be good so 90 overall Eugenio Suarez here with contact against righties being 91 125 power against righties 118 against lefties so if you're playing on all-star or lower divisions the contact's not going to matter too much and the power is really good he's not a bad third baseman if you're playing on a lower level but if you're on hall of fame or you're on legend this card is unusable bad defense bad speed the next car we have is a 91 overall steve kishek did i say that name right let me know in the comments down below if i mispronounced it but he actually looks like a solid reliever per nine stats are okay 100 hits per nine 104 case per nine 85 control 90 velo 97 break has a sinker slider four seam fastball splitter and changeup. individual pitch control four pitches 84 and above and then the pitch break three pitches 
is 92 and above. So not a bad closer. Don't think it'll make my bullpen, but if you're just starting out, maybe this card does make your bullpen. Then we have a 91 Luis Severino. This card looks bad. As a Yankees fan, that kind of stinks. 99 hits per nine, 85 Ks per nine, 87 control, 97 velo, 99 break with a four seam fastball slider, change up, and two seam fastball. I think they made some of these cards like uh, like the Severino here to just help you finish the Mookie Betts collection. So there's 91 overall card. Not going to be used by a lot of people, but like I said, if you're looking to get Mookie Betts, these cards will help. Then we have a 93 overall Huston Street. Did I say that right too? So many names in this program that I'm mispronouncing. I feel like 107 hits per nine, 103 Ks per nine, forcing fastball, slider, circle change, sinker, 90 control, individual pitch control, all four pitches, 88 and above. Then the pitch break, all four pitches, 88 and above again with three pitches in the 90s. But once again, another card I'm not going to be using in Diamond Dynasty. Then we have a 94 on Drelton Simmons card and this card is horrible. He's a really good fielder. Gold glove card, but he's a horrific hitter at this point in the year. No one's going to be using this card. 90 plus in the fielding stats. 54 speed, but horrible contact. Horrible power. Not going to be a good card. 95 Jason Hayward. He's okay against righty arms. 100 contact against righties. 95 power against righties. He's horrible against lefties though. Another gold glove card. So his fielding stats are really good. All in the 90s once again. With 82 speed. 63 steel. So no card so far that I'll be using in my lineups. That's for sure. Then we have a 97 Tariq Skubal starting pitcher. Per 9 stats are okay right in the middle 97 hits per nine 100 k's per nine 86 control 85 velo, 97 break. He has the generic pitch selection. When they don't know what pitches to give a starting pitcher, they give him the generic pitch selection of a four seamer, two seamer, slider, change up, and curveball. And that's exactly what this card has. I will not be using him. We have a 97 future stars, Nolan Gorman. And this is the first card I've seen so far that's actually usable in this pack. 106 contest against righties, 86 against lefties, 114 power against righties, 100 against lefties, decent fielding stats, all in the 80s, 92 arm, 94 arm accuracy with 55 speed not a bad second baseman another second baseman with decent power he's actually a solid card don't mind this nolan gorman then we have a 97 keeper ruiz card and i wouldn't use this card because adley's better kyle schorber's better piazza's better yasmani grandel they're all better than this keeper ruiz just off the top of my head his contact is okay power nothing crazy defensively he's okay pretty much in the 80s here 90 reaction time with okay speed 45 and he's a switch hitting bat but i don't think he's a great catcher maybe makes the top six top seven at the catcher position then we have a second half Edwin Encarnacion card, 98 overall, and this card looks okay. 112 contest against righties, 114 power against righties. So against ready arms, he's not bad, but he's horrible against lefties. 53 contest against lefties, 125 power against lefties. His defense is bad, but he's only playing first base anyway, so that doesn't matter too much. If you want to use him against righties, you can, but I think there's better options. And finally, we have a 99 Don Mattingly, and this card really doesn't blow me away either, so no cards in the run it back pack really blew me away here. I actually think the cards in the player program him were a little bit better. He has 121 contest against righties, 112 against lefties, 88 power against righties, 81 against lefties. The fielding stats are really good for the first baseman spot with 46 speed. Don't really know I'd put him on my first baseman rankings right now, probably in the top five, but I wish he had a little bit better power because there are guys that have really good contact and really good power at the first baseman spot and you don't need the best defender at first base. Okay, now that we talked about all the rewards in the program, let's talk about how you can complete this program a little bit quicker and buy by far the easiest way is do the showdown. Don't waste your time with the conquest. The map isn't too big, but by the time you would finish this conquest map, you could have done the showdown at least two to three times. And I think the showdown is just so quick to do. You get 15 points every single time you beat the showdown. And not only that, every single time you beat the showdown, you get a guaranteed run it backpack. So you can get some of those cards that we talked about earlier. Sell them on the market. If you need some of those cards from Mookie, put them into your collection. That will definitely help. And all you have to do is beat three mini bosses and then finish it off by beating the final boss. Do four missions here, do four bosses, and you get a run it backpack for free, and you get 15 points towards the program. So if you do the showdown seven times, you'll finish the program. Okay, everyone, that's gonna do it for the video today. The new run it back program is here. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think it's a W? Do you think it's an L? Will you be using any of these cards on your main team in the comments down below? Let me know which card you're the most excited for. But if you found this video useful and you enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe, and if you're new, I would greatly appreciate it. I will be ranking all these cards that will be another video coming out later today so make sure to stay tuned for that one if you would like to you can follow me at my social links which are on the screen for you all right now including my twitter tiktok instagram twitch stuff like that but that's gonna do it for me today everyone i'll see you on the next video have a great rest of your day peace out